Good afternoon, everyone. I am Munmita Borua. Uh, welcome you all to our today's webinar. Today we have with us uh, Dr. Purnima Devi Borman. I don't think she needs any particular introduction. She is well known for all of us because of her dedication towards conservation of endangered guitar adjutant straw. So today she will speak on enabling coexistence of people and greater adjutant stroke in Assam, India. Purnima, I think we can start the session now. Uh, so I will keep admitting the new participants. Uh, so now I would like to hand over the session to Purnima. Thank you. Uh, namaskar everyone. Uh, I'm Purnima Devi Burman and uh, uh, I hope you all are keeping safe and uh, I'm very honored to be here in this webinar and I'm very um, thankful to our MPCD team, Munmita Borwa and Udan Bortakwe and everyone for having me here and uh, giving me an opportunity to jo join with all of you. And uh, today I'm going to share the, the journey of our conservation work of this bird, Hargila Greater Adjutant Store with communities and if somebody you know is interested to work on species and um, with communities maybe uh, uh, our work may be a bit useful for of you and uh, if you have any questions please uh, please connect with me uh, i'm there all the time to uh, help you and assist you and uh, as you all are aware that greater resident stork locally called as hargila Hargila har means bones, gila means swallow, hargila bone means bone swallowers. So from the name only you can come to know how important the species is. They are a scavenger birds and they, they clean our environment and they are, so in basically in the first slide I have put, uh, like I have put the summary of the, my, summary of these species and a bit about my work. Like it is an endangered bird, Hargila is technically more endangered than rhino, tigers, and elephants, but we are often obsessed by the mega species only. So we now have to think on how we can work on other lesser known species also. We have lots of other species who needs our attention. And um, uh, like its global population is very less, less than 1200 birds. Habitat loss, poaching, and poisoning are the major threats. And currently, this bird is confined to Assam, Bihar, uh, and um, in India and in Cambodia. And uh, this is the important thing that I would like to, uh, you know, present that in with the help of community support, only because of the community conservation effort, uh, because of them, in 12 years of time, we could increase the its nest numbers in a nesting colony in Kamloop by more than eight folds. So today I'd like to uh, share with you a bit journey and about this talk and just a bit repeat again, as it is an endangered bird and more endangered than rhino, tiger and elephants, but mega species only get attention and more than 75% of the global population found in Assam. And uh, mm, so here you can see the picture, uh, like, you know, if you, if you just uh, keep watching the picture, just you will come to know how it tells the entire story, how the bird is treated. You know, just like, like if you uh, compare this bird's conservation with other efforts, other species, we get government protection. Uh, in case of greater adjutant, it is totally different. You can see that they breed in the private um, areas, in the, in the human settlements, in the tall trees, which are the private uh, properties of the people. And uh, so they, they, they don't enjoy government protection. So that is the um, biggest conservation problem of this bird. That is why its conservation is, is a very challenge. And that is why conservationists do not um, come forward to work more on this bird. Uh, as, uh, as we have to directly deal with the people. So, we, so for example, you know, for example, I, 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 there is a tree in my backyard, and somebody is coming every day to to tell to to, uh, to uh, tell us to protect it. So there is it's a big challenge actually. Uh, it, it, so uh, I, and I would like to you know discuss the entire journey with you. And um, this is this bird is. Uh, 
protected under Wildlife Protection Act. Uh, and but as I have mentioned, that it is, its breeding habitat is not protected. So uh, major global population is found in Assam, more than 75% already I have mentioned. So Assam has to take the lead in conservation effort. And um, that's why uh, today our title is people and greater adjutant. So, so, uh, so to conserve greater adjutant, willingness and support of that, of that communities, of the tree owners is must. So we have to rope in communities to save this bird. And, uh, because Hargila, uh, it can, uh, as you all are aware that Hargila was also treated as bad woman, disease carrying pace by some. And uh, yeah, and, and trees are being cut down because of many reasons uh, in people in need or, um, or, or, many, or many reasons because they are treated as messy birds, unhygienic birds or disease carrying pace. So many reasons people just cut down the trees. Uh, and many historical breeding colonies are missing from the entire state and uh, from the entire uh, historical breeding uh, distribution in the world. And all, they are confined only to a few isolated pockets. And um, uh, just 12 years ago, we did a pre-campaign survey to know why the tree owners cut down the trees, why this bird is so threatened, why the breeding colonies are missing. And uh, many, many, um, many things came out from this survey, made that the people complain about the messy smell, dead, uh, dead rotten food, and uh, uh, like uh, it's, the trees are, their, trees are their private properties, they can do anything, whatever they want, land expansion, settlement of house, and uh, mainly this nest six, uh, nest fallen birds, you can see, like, you know, these are the baby birds also on the right side, but they look like adult. So in Hargila, they are, the birds fall, in the nest fall uh, birds is, uh, the, uh, you know, the rate is very high. It is more than 45%, they fall down. And um, when the babies are three months, two months, or five months, they just fall down due to many reasons. And, um, um, like you know, uh, and uh, but uh, but uh, when these are not attended, their campus become more rotten and very unhygienic, and it becomes a very big pain for the people. So uh, so this is also one of the reason that people just cut down the trees, and um, so so these are the reasons you know that we came out uh, that that came out from our uh, means uh, survey pre-campaign survey that uh, many tree owners demanded cash uh, and uh, and uh, more, they considered that the bird is a uh, you know property of forest department and we experienced that that villagers were not at all educated about the wildlife and they never knew that gather adjutant is an important bird and that's why we developed a PR plan uh, to save this species with different stakeholders and um, with the communities and uh, uh, we started um, building friendship, building support of them, winning their heart and which is very important and uh, continuing the work and um, we found the, you know, among, among all these communities, we, we started working more with women because women can make a big difference. And most of the time they stay in the, in the household and they are a very strong decision makers. They can influence their husband. So, uh, so we formed the all women uh, army team called Hargila army among the rural women. And um, as I have mentioned that our work is an integration of science, pride, outreach, tradition, spiritual, spirituality. And uh, so this is a, you know, this is this entire, it's a package of conservation that what we are doing. And with all these women and earlier these women didn't come, didn't like to come to the meeting. And we just, they all the time they complained that they had to cook, they had to take care of their husband, they have to take care of their children, mostly they say that they have to cook so they they didn't have a voice they they don't they they, th they thought that their boundaries their limitation is within the house only but now if you see you they, they are the they are the big conservation is now these women so they have a strong voice and uh, so as they have mentioned all the time complain with that they have to cook so we started this work with cooking competitions all the time we organize in every locality we 
we selected and we organized uh, cooking competitions and invited them and uh, they came there and they they liked it actually earlier these women didn't come but once they once they once we connect we we connected their culture their uh, daily life with the conservation they really liked it and then we started befriending with them and talking them about the way of life about conservation and this way they started coming so so that's a glimpse that I mentioned already that through cooking competition, you know, I started and and then I then we motivated them, then we motivated them and we built a big team and we met, motivated them about the wave of life. And then um, uh, then uh, we also uh, enhanced a program called communities teaching communities uh, like when we say uh, it's it's always a different but when we make a group of communities who can educate others that is a bit different that makes a big difference so we pro and this program was really very working uh, useful and as i have mentioned that our program is very you know spiritual you know it's it's like it has science it has, it, it has pride camp and everything so we 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 also organize awareness in 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 many of the Hargila armies marriage you know in their daughters or or in their children's marriage um, day also, and uh, it really uh, created a big difference. And uh, our women, with the help of the women, I we always try to motivate them with the Chipko movement, and we we you know just. We, the, we uh, you know, ask, like, you know, we made them to plant trees, um, you know, just and uh, building ownership. And we had a pride campaign, uh, like, uh, like Hargila will make our village, our state pr proud. Uh, so we have to protect. So we, say we, uh, we had a pride campaign, which was also a very effective tool. And um, uh, I, I don't know how many of you are attending here, but um, I wish I could know, but still I just want to ask a question to all of you. Uh, have you attended a Hargila baby shower before? Uh, so um, uh, so I, if, you, if you have not, so please come next year. We are, uh, every year we organize a Hargila baby shower for the storks in the time when the birds lay eggs. Basically, what we found that when the birds came for the nesting, laid eggs, at that time, the trees were either cut down or they are, uh, or peop uh, some people put a storm, means uh, smokes under the nest, nest or uh, sometimes uh, hitting them with a, with a stone or something like that. In a, a big disturbance also, um, you know, affects a lot in Hargila's breeding success. Uh, so, uh, so what? Do, so I, I, we found that you know, uh, just you know, just uh, telling them about the like, do not cut the tree trees, uh, distributing them uh, with the with the you know just uh, leaflets, pamphlets. The, this didn't work much. So that's why uh, developed this idea and uh, and that, uh, like you know to organize a Hargila baby shower to integrate again with their life with the womenhood and with their la life and and these women actually earlier they 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 were really you know they they were taking it my my God is it really a Hargila baby shower like Panchamri ceremony then then uh, when, once they came they they thought like it was their own program like they celebrate um, you know at their home who, who which happens with their family members and um, yes it worked a lot it sensitized them and uh, women now we don't need to tell them that uh, I, that do not cut them to cut down the trees they themselves you know go go and you know meet their husband and tell them you know influence them not to cut down the trees or to love the birds so we gave him and exactly we celebrated this ceremony exactly like the way we celebrate uh, for the Assamese expecting mothers and this this event is now a fixed one we or every year in October we organize this and um, recently Cornell, uh, recently um, Audubon uh, Society also came uh, to join this event. We were very honored and this really encouraged our women. So, 
again this is a gita bhagavat ceremony in the village we mars our campaign uh, to this also where um, more than 10000 people come on the street and join so we just uh, requested the committee to mars this and uh, you know with the idea and and then uh, we saw that finally it, it was a really a very uh, very important program for the for the village and then we also organize uh, lots of events many of our events were either in a prayer hall or uh, you know or in or in a paddy fields or you no know, we we uh, mostly we we avoid uh, um, other meetings like you know just and and i just want to uh, i want to tell you that uh, with the communities the big big meetings really fails so we have to go at the grassroots levels and this really works and um, so our work is not only saving the bird but also empowering women and social change in the village and we got weekly award in 2017 uh, and uh, we could establish a weaving center also in the village and uh, so you can see uh, we also gave, we also offered them a training with fashion uh, fashion diploma training for the women where we merged the bird into the fashion and then they came up with the uh, you know just with this so here i would like to mention again that who, uh, like why we highlighted more women because so that we can really build a pride factor we can connect the bard into their traditions so for example you can see how they are working and uh, we, with each woman we can um, um, we can target we can we can meet we can win the heart of all all the family members of their home for example we have a, a hargila army uh, for example hargila army called jonali so jonali's husband jonali's family all are there with us so that is the idea and so these are the weaving facility uh, where our women uh, you know just uh, uh, you know women they are just um, weave uh, this uh, traditional attires and mars the bird and so this they don't only sell them in high uh, high price but also but also they they share their pride how they love the bird and uh, again you can see like this as i have mentioned about the training about the fashion diploma so th this is a glimpse of about, about that and then they sell them in the markets or in a community programs there we connect them with with some uh, different markets also and uh, here you can see uh, i am i am very thankful to uh, honorable uh, new zealand high commissioner madam for offering us uh, with a grant uh, to provide 80 sewing machines among the communities which was really really very useful because earlier we had looms and we we could provide yarns but now we had sewing machines too so that that was really a big empowerment for our women and um, in now in this pandemic time uh, our women are uh, producing this face mask with adjutant um, you know just uh, a motif in the face mask and it it is also helping them to in this time when they don't have any income so they, it is also helping them to get uh, some money and uh, uh, so so you can uh, if you want you can get it in our office also and you can help our communities you can directly meet them and directly support them and uh, we uh, we initiated lots of reward scheme but we always avoided giving direct cash to the free owners and uh, uh, it, uh, trust me it is really very you know very difficult to work with communities so i i i request uh, all all of you who really wants to work with communities so before giving cash direct cash so please uh, please plan it very sustainably uh, so rather than giving direct cash please give it in the name of reward or some some scholarships that really works and then we also work lot with children of the village and we built hargila champions and uh, with um, like with the local schools we termed them as guardian of the stocks and these two students also motivated their parents a lot and these are some we converted some the the school converted the, some craft classes to the hargila module classes which was really very attractive and very motivating and um, we we also have a 
our uh, our team member disana who we also have a uh, like uh, dra drama puppet, uh, she, she, she developed this puppet uh, and uh, we are also uh, creating awareness through this uh, puppet and uh, also we have, uh, we, uh, we got help from many corners of the world and uh, there is a group called Evan Group international group who themselves provided us this support they they offered us and they have provided us 80 paintings of hargila which are very unique and very creative creative i would i would like to invite you sometime to come to our uh, we are now constructing a museum uh, called hargila learning center and these all these arts will be you know depicted will be displayed there and i would like to invite all of you and um, we also hosted Women in NASA Network. Um, it's an international co conference with 70 international women from all over the world where Hargila was the, uh, was the, you know, the symbol of this uh, conference and uh, entire Hargila community work. The women, Hargila Army was a case study and uh, like, you know, it was a, all, all our international women uh, joined them and uh, all these in, uh, uh, village grassroots women also came to the uh, Win India conference and it was a kind of um, exchange of knowledge, sharing, you know, uh, connecting with each other. So it was really a great opportunity for our, our women and um, for all of us also. And uh, I actually, uh, I'll come here. Yeah, uh, I thought to put, uh, put this slide on the letter, but it came a bit before. But yeah, um, but yeah, this is you can see that the, this is a, we, as I have mentioned that lots of birds fall down from the nest. Uh, so uh, and uh, uh, this uh, this year we have uh, more than 386 baby birds, and as I have mentioned, that more than 48 uh, percent six fall down, and uh, we could save only a few of them. Uh, most of them, you know, I uh, directly uh, the fall down and die, and uh, it gets re really a big. You know, it's it's. Uh, I can't tell you. Once you are in a field, you can come to know when these birds die, and if it is not, uh, sometimes even a single case is not attended uh, because they be, if they they get rotten and also it, it, it's really a big um, big thing actually. It's it get conflict. So that's why. Uh, and then we don't have a mass post mortem system. We we are trying to do that, but we are trying it, but not. And uh, we can't do it all of the birds. So many birds fall down and die. So that's why uh, to make people happy, our our member Deepankar, he uh, and uh, and Manav and a group of uh, boys from the boys club, they they do this burial uh, for the for the bird, and then it makes people happy. And um, so uh, it, this is this this picture is not very clear. Uh, I'm sorry for that. We also work with the uh, rag picker children sometimes to motivate them who lives near uh, closely with the Hargila. And uh, we work with Kamru Police is our partner and their partnership helped us a lot in motivating people and, uh, and empowering them. And we, with the help of district administration, with the support of district administration, we put nets under the nesting tree so that we could save it. But, uh, but even though we put nets, we can't save all the birds. birds, birds most of the birds fall down and die, but, uh, but still we could save uh, a few of them and then uh, we could, re we, uh, when they fall in the uh, nets and we could save them, we could rescue them and then bring to the zoo and then hand raise and release in the wild so uh, you can see like you know that uh, here we are releasing a bird so and then we put bands and um, here i would like to share a good news with all of you uh, just um, since 2018 we, we are successful uh, in an artificial platform this is the first ever platform in the world where Hargila bred for the first time. So isn't it great for the bird? And I think you all agree with me. So uh, at, uh, today or tomorrow, one bird, uh, we, this bird will fly away according to their life cycle. We can, we just estimating that tomorrow or, or today. 
today evening i think this bird will fly away and if uh, we are still still waiting uh, i don't, they, they, it may be late also but uh, we expect that and uh, let us con uh, let us all together con congratulate the bird to fly high and it is the first ever artificial platform which we constructed uh, constructed and it was successful and uh, it may be an ex ex answer near future in some areas where birds bred earlier but now they don't have nesting trees so we may try it but it is in a very uh, experimental form only we cannot say anything we just tried and we were successful so this is uh, my art, uh, my uh, bamboo platforms 80 feet bamboo platforms we uh, i have uh, four bamboo platforms to climb all have different different heights uh, and I, I climb there and stay there uh, at sometimes uh, until 15 days also and to study the breeding behavior of the birds and uh, so we uh, so as i have mentioned that our work is a is an integration of research community conservation women empowerment and all these things so uh, so this is some achievements from our project we got the uh, whitley award and um, award from president and i just i thought to share with you and we also do some uh, heavy metal studies on the excels of the birds and uh, we also uh, do some post mortem study on the birds and uh, the result is really very alarming we found iron nails hooks blade nail uh, these things some unusual materials in the in the six uh, stomach and uh, so we still are exploring and we are we are studying on this and we as i have mentioned that we are studying on excels and uh, so um, i just want to conclude here that not a single nesting tree is cut down since 2010 and average 70 every year actually from this colony 75 six uh, successfully fly from this colony uh, from this colony and uh, uh, this year this is more as we have we, we had more nests uh, we uh, more than 100 100 baby birds successfully flew away but when we count when we do the population counts um, you know these birds uh, you know we we don't find all of them just imagine every year we, we, uh, we are counting 76 successfully fly away but um, in population counts all the birds don't come so we need to do migration study of the bird also and in Morigao, we are working in Morigao also, Nogao also. In Morigao, we had we had highest nests um, uh, than earlier in Morigao today, uh, so, uh, up to, to today. So, uh, so we found, so uh, today also we rescued a bird from Morigao, uh, and uh, so uh, with the with the support of uh, forest and local communities. So uh, we um, so we are working hard also in Morigao district. And uh, in Dodora, we started from 28 nests, and now we have 208 nests. And in 2020, uh, we, in, in our population, in, in the nest count in entire Assam, we found 270 nests in entire Assam. So, uh, so these are some, you know, just summary. And thanks a lot to all of you for joining me. And my email ID is uh, uh, punima.arendog.gmail.com. So you can uh, uh, you can uh, just uh, take my email ID from Munmita also, I, or otherwise you can note it down punima.arendog.gmail.com. And I hope uh, uh, I hope it was uh, my you know uh, it, it was uh, it, my presentation would be useful for you. And um, uh, apologies if I have done uh, you know if you I couldn't be much understandable to you and thanks a lot uh, for joining me here thank you everyone okay uh, thank you punimaba so we have few questions so now yeah. i think i will read one by one is it okay it was a nice. it was a disturbing right my voice it was a bit no, disturbing, no 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 right? no no it's fine it's fine no problem so yeah i got some yeah okay the first okay. question is from rasmi singh so uh, hello thank you all for organizing this talk so do the hargila birds have a preference to certain tree species so hard question is uh, 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 what is your name rasmi rasmi right? singh yeah 
Rasmi, yes, yes. Uh, Argila has a preference of certain uh, certain tree species, uh, like uh, like uh, kadam trees, Anthocephalus kadamba, then cotton trees, then uh, dewa trees. Yes, they have, uh, they prefer uh, kadam trees a lot, Anthocephalus kadamba and cotton trees and other trees also. And we have a fixed tamarind tree every year since I have been working, and it has it has uh, it has. Um, how many? Uh, nine nests every year. This year also, only one tree in uh, in the in Kamru and uh, tamarind tree. That is only one. But others are like kadam and Mantisabellus kadamba. Then uh, these uh, cotton trees, then dewa trees. Uh, yeah, all these trees. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, another question from Jayanta Kumar Borua. So Purnima, you are doing a great job uh, for the conservation of greater adjutant stock. But how can come to your mind for the conservation of greater adjutant stock being a woman? Uh, Jayanta Kumar Borwa, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks a lot for this question. And uh, actually, uh, actually, every uh, I, I, when I was I was a child, actually I was grown up with my grandma. From that on, uh, that that time only, I loved nature a lot. But I didn't know that I would do. I this is a I I, I would be working, uh, you know, one day for for nature or for Hargila. But uh, when uh, in my masters, uh, my teachers also encouraged then. And then I joined Arendak. Arendak gave it, you know, when I was doing my master's, I joined Arendak and I, I got a huge platform where I could see how people are working. And at that time, at that time I realized that I would, I would have to give my base to nature. But, um, but at, at, uh, until that time also, I thought that PhD was the ultimate. I thought that I would do PhD on Hargila bird because Hargila was my childhood friend and my teachers also told lots of things about Hargila. Then uh, once uh, I went, uh, I just said, then I, I, I was very determined. Everyone is working on rhino and tigers and mega species. I would do my PhD on Hargila only, greater resident store. Then everything started, you know, just I, I, I wanted to do my PhD and I went to the village Dodora. And one day I, I got a call and went there and one tree, tree owner cut down a tree actually. That's why I went there, I got an information. And when I was there, I, I was saw the baby birds fell down, you know, nine baby birds fell down. And I just there to speak to him, why you are doing so, why you cut down the tree, you should have waited. It is so important, but it is in the breeding season. You have a family, I have a family, what you are doing? Actually, I was so naive, I could, I didn't know how to speak also. He was really very angry on me. And um, all the people joined together and started mocking at, at me and, and uh, asked me to be, and he said that, uh, please be my, our housemate from tomorrow and clean the mess that Hargila does. And, uh, and also, uh, if you also came and I said that I, actually I wanted to, to, I wanted their help to rescue the birds. And a few of them told me that, are you going to eat the flesh of the birds, meat of the birds on the way? So actually from that incident, that day actually, uh, you know, I, I came to home and from that day on, actually my mission started. I couldn't sleep. I thought that actually those villagers, they, it is not their fault at all. I couldn't motivate them also. So I just stopped my PhD then and from that day. I thought that I'll do my PhD once I could build support of everyone. And that was might be a single story, but it's happening everywhere. So I just... I just thought to start from there only. And just from the next day, I, I went there. And uh, yes, being a woman, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, your question is, yeah, being a woman, I wanted to involve more women so that because I myself feel that women are not included much in conservation as in the decision making. You can see in the organization or in the, in the, in the you know, anywhere, you can see how many women are there in the decision making. Uh, you know, somewhere no or somewhere only one or two. So, yeah, it's only a few only. So I think women should be included. So that's why I started with the rural women. So let them, you know, let them be a part of conservation agenda. So that's, that, that is the, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it is. Thank you, Purnimama.